In this video, you'll see how to invoke third-party data APIs from AWS Data Exchange. With this capability, you can subscribe to an API from a third-party data provider on AWS Data Exchange, and then call the API using the AWS Command Line Interface, or AWS CLI, or AWS SDKs. We'll start from the AWS Data Exchange homepage. From here, we can browse the catalog of data products to find the API we want to use. The AWS Data Exchange for APIs test product is provided to subscribers for free for testing purposes. A successful request to this test API returns the parameters that were sent in the request. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have already subscribed to this test product. Let's go to our subscriptions and open our test product. The product contains a single data set in the U.S. East, Northern Virginia, AWS region. Let's open the data set and select the latest revision. We'll use this API asset. Under Integration Notes, we'll copy the sample code structure, which is based off the AWS CLI. Let's open an AWS Cloud Shell instance to run our sample code. Before we paste the code snippet into our Cloud Shell environment, we can make modifications to it. Let's set the response output to return the parameters that we pass in. Our request to the API returned the parameter data that was passed into the request. As an alternative, we can implement the same call using the AWS SDK in the language of our choice. For this example, we'll create an AWS Lambda function using request syntax from the AWS SDK for Python. We'll use the send API asset method in our Lambda function. The send API asset method has asset ID, dataset ID, and revision ID as required parameters. We can copy these parameter values from the asset overview section of our test product subscription. Next, let's go to AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, to look at two roles we created. The first role gives our Lambda function access to the AWS Data Exchange send API asset method. The second role provides permissions required to use Lambda features. Now let's go to AWS Lambda and create our function. We'll give the function a name and choose the Python runtime. Next, we'll change the default execution role to use the IAM role with permissions for accessing the API. Our function was successfully created. Now let's modify the Python source code to invoke the send API asset method. Next, we'll invoke our function with a test event. Let's quickly configure the test event. Let's deploy our code. Now we'll run the test. Our call to the API was successful. As expected, the response returned the parameter data that we passed in. You've just seen how to invoke third-party data APIs from AWS Data Exchange. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.